What's up guys? I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff. We love to talk about movies, video games, comic books, TV shows. Right now, I'd like to give you guys my, re my review of the new documentary, Movie Trailers, A Love Story. Now, this movie was directed by John Campia. Um, for those who don't know, John Campia is a movie pundit who has his own YouTube channel where he uh, has a daily show where he talks about movies. And this is, to my knowledge, I believe this is his third feature film. He did a documentary on... Um, uh, some sort of documentary on religion. I forget what that one was called. He did a um, a, a movie, a, a feature film called The Anniversary, which was a, a romantic comedy. So this is his third one. Uh, uh, so it's his second documentary, Movie Trailers, A Love Story. I really wanted to talk about this one mostly because I talk about movie trailers a lot here. Obviously, I do reactions to movies, I do movie trailer reviews, I talk about movie trailers a lot. So this is a documentary that definitely resonated with me. Um, they, they, he did a good job of breaking it down by chapters. First, he gave the history of the movie trailer, and then he continued on um, talking about the impact that it's had on culture today, all the way up to... Some stuff that he talks about on his show frequently, you know, talk, where, where he talks about trailer reactions, where it talks about how many trailers show before a movie, whether it's three, six, nine, or, you know, maybe there's 40 minutes of trailers before the movie starts. Um, so he talks about a lot of relevant stuff that he talks about on his show that definitely impacts the way trailers are viewed today. Um, not only that, he also talked about... The, the idea of trailers giving away endings of movies. And I thought it was very interesting because at one point in the, in the documentary, they discuss how the early trailers always gave away too much. Some of those early trailers, I didn't even know this, some of those early trailers were six, seven minutes long. They were long. <laughs> and now, uh, a lot of the trailers, you know, typically between two and three minutes, but even then, they're still accused of showing too much, giving away the ending or giving away twist, giving away the surprises in the movie. And and uh, they definitely touch on this a lot. I've always had the, the viewpoint where if it's in the trailer, it's not a spoiler. You know, in Superman versus, in Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, when they showed Doomsday, there that must not have been a spoiler because something else must happen. So th there must be something else in the story that they don't want to spoil. And we were right. Superman dies. So I've always had that idea, that, that perspective, where it's not a spoiler if it's shown in a trailer. It's just, it's, it's just something that's, that's being, that it, it happens in the movie that's being used to market it. And, and plus in Batman vs. Superman, everybody knew Batman and Superman were going to team up anyways. Um, so... Yeah, I thought that he did a really good job also explaining the history of movie trailers. You know, I've gone back and watched a lot of old movie trailers myself. I think back to Jaws. Jaws is my all-time favorite movie. I adore Jaws. I adore it. I, I watch it probably about once a month. I adore it. <laughs> and and uh, if you go back and watch the trailer for Jaws, they give away pretty much the entire movie. It's a, it's a trailer that's given with the narration. Um, it's given w with a narration voiceover that basically talks about the movie through the course of the movie, and you see everything. If I were doing a Jaws movie, or if I were doing a trailer for a Jaws movie today, I don't even know if I would show Quint, Brody, and Hooper out on the boat. Just show the stuff with the sharks attacking people. Because that is going to be enough of a draw to get people into the theater. But, yeah, they showed the whole movie. I go back to, like, um, Mir the trailer for Miracle on 34th Street. They pretty much show everything in that trailer. So, yeah, those older trailers definitely show a lot. And, and they're right. In this, in this documentary, he talks about how movie trailers are essentially the same thing today as they were 100 years ago. 
They're trying to get you to come back to the movie theater. And they're exactly right. I mean, John Campia was definitely right when he said that, 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 that that's the purpose of the trailer and that's why they exist. And that's what they're trying to do. And that's absolutely correct. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed this documentary. It wasn't very long. It was uh, a little bit less than 80 minutes, but it was a pretty thorough look at the history of movie trailers, why they exist and, and how they've impacted us culturally. Some highlights from me, was when he was when they talked about the Phantom Menace trailer, how that changed how Americans how how the world, but that changed how the world views movie trailers, and it did for me. I remember, I remember going to the movie theater to 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 watch movies and calling the movie theater in advance and saying, "Hey, are you going to have the Star Wars trailer before this movie?" And they would say yes, or they'd say no. And if they say yes, I'd go see the movie because. All I wanted to see was the Star Wars trailer. That is how much the world of trailers has changed. Now you can just pop out your phone and watch the trailer on the, on your phone. But then, watching that that wanting to see that Star Wars trailer over and over again, I was 18 years old. I was 17. I was, I was 18 when The Phantom Menace came out. I was 17 years old when the trailer came out. And I remember distinctly making those phone calls to movie theaters and asking them, Hey, movie here hey is the trailer here hey is the trailer here and especially the star wars trailers became such a big component of of uh my conversations with my friends when attack of the clones came out uh, i was in college and i remember i ran cross country in college and i remember we were out for like a 15 mile run and this was the day after the Attack of the Clones trailer came out. We were out for a 15-mile run, and we probably spent 12 of those miles talking about the Attack of the Clones trailer. These trailers, especially for Star Wars, the prequels, they permeated our, our conversations that we had with friends. Everything came back to those trailers. <laughs> um, and then... YouTube came out, and that kind of lessened the the um, the immediate importance of seeing those trailers. You know, like like we stopped going to the movie theaters just to see trailers, and and that was definitely an evolution in in the way we view movie trailers. But yes, reaction videos. That's another highlight of this uh, of this documentary was when he talked about the reaction videos and how it's fun. To, to feel emotion with other people. And that that's something that's been kind of necessary with the way that movie trailers have evolved, how we watch them on our phones now. It's been kind of necessary now to have that connection, that experience with other people. So that's why reaction videos work and why people actually watch reaction videos. Um, so yeah, overall, this was a good documentary. Now, if you watch John Campia, you'll know that most of the guests that he had on the show, or that he had in the documentary, are guests that he has on the show. Definitely, um, definitely leverages contacts to get. You know, I'm not saying they're not well informed. They are extremely well informed people, experts in the field. Um, uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of people that we were already familiar with. If you're a fan of the show, uh, one thing that I did like, I really like this a lot, was that there, there was a trio that he had in there from a. Um, from a trailer cutting company and I really they their insight was some of the insight that I enjoyed the most because they talked about the process of making a movie trailer and in this 79 minute documentary however long it is you know the the the, the minutes that they were on the screen were the minutes where I was most dialed in because I felt like they really had some stuff to say that I didn't know already or wasn't reaffirming what I thought I already knew so those were the moments that, that were that were my favorite. The Phantom Menace stuff, the trailer reaction stuff, and learning stuff about trailer cutting that I didn't already know. Uh, definitely a professionally made documentary. Uh, you know, I liked the way that he broke it into chapters, and um, and I thought it was I thought it was pretty well done. Um, I think my only gripe would be that it did seem a little bit too short, and and. Uh, 
and, and you know, documentaries have a habit of, of running about 90 minutes, and this was just shy of 80, so I don't know what else he could have put into it. But it did, it, it, for, for whatever reason, it made... I don't know, maybe it was just because I was really uh, engaged in the material. But for whatever reason, it did feel brief. It felt like a, it felt like a, um, an episode of a TV show rather than a full-length documentary. And that'd be kind of my only, my only gripe. I'd like to have seen a little bit more, um, a little bit more insight, a little bit more content um, when, you know, in the individual chapters. But that'd be my only gripe, and that's kind of just nitpicking because I really enjoyed this documentary. But this is a documentary that, that is about a subject matter that's right up my alley. Something that I love and hold dear is movie trailers. And I miss them terribly. I can't wait till they start coming back. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good documentary. It was very entertaining, especially if you're into the content material. So I would definitely recommend this. Uh, I, I really hope, you know, I know that John Campy is busy with his... Um, with his daily show and he's got lots of other stuff going on um, obviously but I would hope that that he had a good experience here because I'd like to see more content out of him in the future as far as um, you know making movies is concerned and I think my guess is documentaries is more is more in his wheelhouse I've never seen the anniversary I don't think it's been released on any platform where I can buy it um, if you know of that let me know in the comments because I would love to check that out and buy it uh, I'm not gonna torrent anything I, I, do, I don't pirate movies it's not something that I do um, I believe in you know supporting the creators and and paying for my movies so that's not something I'm gonna do but if there is a way that I can buy it or rent it I would love to know that um, but my guess is that the documentary is more up his wheelhouse. It's even inspired me to start uh, right now. It's just a one sheet, just a one page of notes on um, some a documentary I'd like to make. And right now I'm getting my master's degree. So that's something I can't tackle right now. But I'm going to. I'm going to. And it's going to be low budget, and it's going to be shot with uh, with uh, um, smartphones and and camcorders. But but it's inspired me to go ahead and do it. So I'm not going to say anything about what it's about. It, it is related to the entertainment industry, um, but it, it inspired me to go ahead and take the leap and do it. So once I'm done with my masters, I finish my masters in June. At that point, I think I'm going to start start doing it. Um, because I'd like to do the same thing. I'd like to have my own feature film. Obviously, it's never going to get a wide release like his did. But I'd like to at least have one that I can put my name on and say, I did that. So, it's, it, like I said, it definitely inspired me. So, good documentary. Right up my wheelhouse. Had a good time watching it. And I definitely recommend it. So, make sure you check out uh, John Campia's film, Movie Trailers, A Love Story. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and as always, thank you so much for joining me right here on the LQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later.